Okay, so Piggy Book 2 Chapter 12 has been out for a few days now. And if you've played through the chapter, you know there's four different endings. There's the Survivor Tigre ending, the Survivor Willow ending, the Savior Tigre ending, and the Savior Willow ending. And while these four endings have actually caused a lot of confusion amongst a lot of Piggy players, like for example, the player gets attacked by an infected and then drinks the cure themselves, even though they're immune and then leaves Pony to die? Why does the player drink the potion if they're immune? That doesn't make sense. Why would the player just leave Pony to die and get infected like that? That doesn't make sense either. Or maybe why in the world does Dude Man show up at the end of the Savior Tigre ending? Like, what is going on here? Well, in this video, I'm going to explain all four endings. We're going to talk about the true ending, which is going to be coming out probably tomorrow. And I'm also going to be explaining everything about Pony's death. So let's go ahead and let's hop into this. So you're probably looking at my screen right now and you're like, Creekcraft, what in the world is this? Well, this is called a flow chart. And I made a flow chart to describe describe the two different timelines in Roblox Piggy. Because if you don't know, there's actually two different timelines in Roblox Piggy now. So how it works is like this. So down here, we have Piggy Book 1. Okay, you play Piggy Book 1, it moves on to Piggy Book 2 in a straight path, a straight timeline. And then Piggy Book 2 moves into a straight timeline until we reach the factory, Chapter 6. In Chapter 6, the factory, we make a big choice. We make the choice as to whether we save all of Willow's fellow TSP members, or we make the choice whether to not save them. If we save them all, this brings us on the savior path here. And if we don't save them all, it takes us on the survivor path. Now there's two big key differences about these two different timelines. In the survivor path, Pony lies to you. He doesn't confess about killing Doggy. He never tells you. The other big difference is you also never meet Dude Man. This cutscene never plays in the survivor timeline. In the savior timeline, the one where you save all TSP members, Pony does tell you about killing Doggy. And you do actually meet Dude Man himself. This cutscene plays. The one where Dude Man tells you that you're actually immune to the infection, amongst a bunch of other things. Now, the reason why we separate these two is because, well, <laughs> it leads to two completely different timelines and endings. So let's go ahead. Let's explain the survivor endings. So assuming you didn't save all TSP members, at the end of chapter 12 here, we have to choose whether to help Willow or to help Tiger. If we choose to help Willow, then, well, Tiger gets knocked out. The player and Willow have a little back and forth here, and then Willow decides to take the potion and follow the player out of the lab. Whenever we get to the entrance of the lab, though, we actually find Pony resting against the bottom of a tree. He basically tells us he's infected. He got infected back in the docks map when he got attacked by the infected bot on that map. Pony and the player then have a little emotional back and forth conversation here, and then both of you guys realize that Willow has back stabbed you. She has done what a thief would do. She has taken the potion and she has ran away. And what this means, of course, is, well, Pony's infected. There's no cure. Willow ran away with it, which means Pony is going to be left there to turn infected in the snow. So the player character then goes on to find all the other characters, see where they are, leaving Pony in the snow to, <laughs> well, die. Kind of dark ending, but it gets darker. So on the other hand, the other survivor ending, if we choose to help Tigri, Willow gets knocked out and, well, basically about the same thing plays out, except instead of Tigri slash Willow taking the potion, the player actually takes the potion and Tigri explains that he's he's pretty much going to skedaddle. He's going to keep on going and traveling on his own because he prefers it that way. And then the player exits the lab once again, but this time they have the potion. Now, upon exiting the lab, we actually get attacked in the snow by an infected. Like this was a cheap play. OK, this is a very cheap play. They're just camping the exit like like, OK, come on, dude. Anyway, the player gets close by the infected and well uh oh that's bad because keep in mind in this timeline we never met dude man which means Dude Man never told us we're immune. So the player doesn't know they're immune, which leads to a pretty emotional moment where Pony and the player are infected. Well, the player is infected. Again, he doesn't know. Pony then explains to the player that, well, he didn't confess about killing Doggy. He's kept it a secret up until now, which makes the player angry at Pony. Pony then tells the player to go ahead, drink the cure, and 
go on without him. And well, that's actually exactly what the player does. He drinks the cure and well, goes on without him. And that's the end of that ending right there. Now, I'm going to be honest, uh, the survivor ending, um, it kind of stinks a little bit. But that's the point. Again, this is the bad ending. The survivor endings are both the bad endings. They're not supposed to be very happy. Now, on the other hand, we have the savior ending, the ending where we save all of Willow's friends. In this ending, in chapter 10, not only do we meet Dude Man and he tells us that we're immune to the infection, but in chapter 11, Pony actually confesses to us about killing Doggy and attempting to infect us as well. And since Pony is truthful about it, the player pretty much forgives him. And then from here on, it's exactly like the survivor endings. We have to choose between Willow and Tigri. If we choose Willow, well, Tigri gets knocked out. The same conversation appears with Willow and the player bickering back and forth. Willow grabs the potion, heads out, well, pretty much beside the player. The player then gets outside and realizes that Pony is, well, once again up against the tree, infected. But this time, instead of running away, Willow remembers that you helped out all of her friends, which means Willow actually comes back and gives the potion to Pony, which means instead of Pony dying here, Pony actually gets cured. No, right after that, Willow then proceeds to run away again, but at least she came back and did the right thing and gave us the potion, and that's all that matters. The Willow Savior ending then ends with the rest of the group arriving with the TSP members that you saved back in the factory. They have traveled across the ocean. Giraffe is safe, secure, and healthy. He's recovered from his gunshot, but the bad news is, well, there is no more cure. So the group is back together again. They continue on their adventures, but Zizzy is pretty much out of luck because the cure is gone. Now, if you choose the Tigery ending for the savior section, the savior timeline, this is where things get completely different. Of course, Willow gets knocked out, but instead of Tigery deciding to leave and go on his own, he actually decides to call you a friend and join the group. So you, Pony, the player, Tigery, you're all walking out of the lab, well, when it starts crumbling. Keep in mind, Tigery did set off dynamite. You can actually see the dynamite all through the map whenever you're playing. That dynamite starts going off, causing rubble to collapse, and well, Pony and Tigery and the player get separated. The cure is gone. Was Tigery crushed? Did he die here? I actually don't know. But the entrance gets blocked by rubble. Tigery gets blocked by rubble, leaving you and Pony in the hallway with no way out. Pony then confesses that he is infected. He tells the player he's sorry, and this is going to be the end of the line for him. And right as Pony starts to turn, Dude Man shows up. The player turns around, accepts Dude Man's offer, and starts walking towards him. And that's where this, this ending ends. That's it. Credits start rolling, and that is the end of the Tigri Savior ending. Again, these are the good endings. This is the good timeline, although it's not why an ending? Like, there's still a lot of questions to wrap up. Like, well, what happened to Zizzy? What's going on with Dude Man? What's his plan? And well, that is where the true ending comes into play. If you haven't been keeping up with my videos, well, number one, you should be subscribed. So make sure you subscribe right now because this is all, it's your fault. You should have known. If you were subscribed, you would have known what I'm about to tell you. But basically, Minitoon's been leaking some hints about the true ending, like this right here. This is a beating heart. Someone's beating heart, probably Zizzy's, that we're going to see in the true ending. He also leaked this right here on Twitter as well. Some sort of goo monster, Mr. Stitchy looking hand coming out of the ground. It's all animated. It looks awesome. The true ending is going to be epic and it all comes out, I believe, tomorrow. So if you haven't subscribed by now, definitely make sure you're subbed because, well, I'm going to need your help and you're going to need my help solving this true ending. We're going to have to find it. We're going to have to figure out how to unlock it and we're going to have to see it. It's almost guaranteed that we're going to see Zizzy and Dude Man in this ending. This is going to be the definitive ending, the true ending to Roblox Piggy. So leave your theories for the true ending down below and I'll see you guys tomorrow in that live stream.